Welcome in all my friends. Lazy Retired Granny here. Today is Sunday, March 10th, 2024. The time is 10.04 a.m. here in rainy, windy Salem, Oregon. And no sun whatsoever. <laughs> so I am continuing my journey on Anticipation of the Day Ahead by Chuck Pinson. And while I got this picture up, I will show you where I'm at. I'm in this corner right here. Yep, that's where I'm starting. Okay, and this is a 36.6 inches by 27.6 inches or 93 by 70 centimeters. It has 59 colors, four ABs. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which are drills that have a special effect coated on them and they are great for creating extra shimmering effects on the diamond painting. I also want to read you what Chuck Penson says about this picture that he did. And it says, as the sunrise announces a new day, it is time for the farmer and his dog to get the tractor rolling towards the fields, anticipating all the things they will accomplish that day. My aim was to paint a coincidental, is that how you pronounce that? Farm in the eastern USA, including a horse riding ring, bridge constructed from stones out of the stream below, and a tobacco barn on the left, like the barns dotting the country near my childhood home in North Carolina. The spring weather is perfect for the cows to enjoy grazing the pasture at first light. So let's take a look at that picture again. So we see the cows out there grazing and we see that stone there and the ducks. What else does he say? Um, and we got the tractor. And he says, A horse riding rink. Oh, we see that. I didn't even notice that. <clears throat> and that is right here. There's this tractor. And, yep, there's the dog, I think. Nope. Or is this the dog? You know what? It's hard for me to see. I guess we'll have to look. Okay, we'll have to look and see where that gets us. And then he also says, bridge constructed from stones. Out of the stream below and a tobacco barn on the left. Yeah, so we got it going. Okay, so we learned a little bit more about the canvas. So if you saw my little tips and tricks on this new thing that I added, Yeah, so now I don't turn my light off anymore. So I am working on color 58, which the E's, which is 3861, and 3861, let's look it up. You know what? It's not on our list. We have another color to add. Yahoo! All right, so 3861. So let's look it up and see what is 
on there. Okay, so um, my coffee cup's in the way. D M C. What would I say? Three eight six one. Okay, and it says cocoa, light cocoa. So let's add that to our list. Okay, so I have my breakfast blend coffee beside me with hazelnut creamer. Yeah, I'm still drinking my coffee. I'm slow today. And I started a new candle wax. And this one is Scentsy Pumpkin Roll. Yeah, got that got the pumpkins. And somebody asked me, how do I put my waxes underneath my candle lamp so that it's high enough? Okay, I have one of these, which is, I gotta be careful because I got wax in it. Has a hole here, and that's where you put a candle if you want to use a candle to do the candle wax. But I just put it in this jar. It fits right underneath the candle per, candle um, lamp perfect and melts it. So that's what I do. And it's not, this one isn't a really strong scent. So I may have to switch it up tomorrow and get something that's, you know, a little bit stronger. So as you can see, I have not done a lot of diamond painting. Seems like I've done other things other than diamond paint, so. Yeah. Yesterday, what did I do yesterday? I watched TV. I did some knitting. Um, I was over at my son's quite a few times. Asking him some questions on technical things. And, um, and just chit-chatting. Watching the boys play their games. So that was fun. And I need to go back over there because for some reason I'm having some technical issues with my phone stuff. So I gotta ask them about that. Okay, do I have any more E's? I'm doing a really big section which I don't know if that's good or bad, but but I'm trying to get this down here done. So I'm working my way up. So I may miss some stuff up there. And you know what? That's okay. Alright, I don't see any more of the capital E's. I did switch to a littler tray just because the colors are less down here and I need to put you on pause for just one second okay I'm back <clears throat> all right so the next one looks like we got some eights let me see what eight is Oh, uh, 
last one, 59. And that is color eight, uh, 3864. So let's see if that one's on our list. It is light mocha beige. I don't think we have a lot of those, but we'll find out. I've been, the diamond paintings that I have been doing, the ABs are at the bottom, and I keep thinking with this one that the ABs are at the bottom of the list, but they're at the top of the list. Yeah, I haven't uh, done a um, diamond art club in a while. I'm getting used to their canvases again. As soon as I get this section done, then I'll get my straightener out and kind of straighten up some drills. They look good as long as you don't have the light pad on. <laughs> you know how that goes. It'll be fine. Yeah, I was so excited about this little thing being on there now. Cause, you know, working down here, I'm always bumping that light. And it kept going on and off, on and off. You know, oh, it was driving me cuckoo. I think we got some eights up here. I need my way up here. So I want to put my mat down so I can put my tray on there and switch my light around. Sorry, my light's in the way here. I didn't even look. That's okay. We're just concentrating on this part anyway. So yeah, I got a bunch of eights right in here, which I guess I'll find out what all this is when I'm done. I'm curious, now that I looked at the canvas picture, if there is a dog right there I don't know um, no I want to look at that again I am just really curious let me get out my um, I don't think, I think that was an optical illusion to me. I don't think that's a dog right there. Oh, I think I see a horse back there in the ring. And it looks like there's a house back there. <coughs> in between the, the trees back in here. Can you see the lights? I didn't notice that before. 
Yeah, I think that might be a house. And then there's a horse right here. There's a lot more to this um, canvas than I thought. get my light over here where I can really see. Yeah, it looks like the light over the barn door is on. Some lights on in the barn. And there's something else over here in the corner. There might be a farmer sitting on that tractor. Okay, this is exciting. Oh, is that a kitty or something on the bridge? Look at all this stuff I have to look forward to. There's more in this uh, canvas than I thought there was. Wow. These are magnifiers. Yeah, that's what it's called. More to it than I thought. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm stoked now. Let's see what else we discover. Oh, now I get my light back over here. That's one thing um, about these huge diamond paintings is that um, there is more to them than at first glance. They just really come alive and you just see so much. I'm glad I got out my magnifier because I had missed all that. So now I can be on the prowl for those. Yeah, and that's just such a small picture of this big canvas, so. We should be able to see it just fine once we get to that part. Has anybody else done this canvas yet? I haven't looked on YouTube to see if anybody's completed it, so. I think I want to be surprised now. I want to see all these things just come alive on the canvas. Oh, I'm just so, so stoked. Okay, I'm just going up to this point on the canvas because that's where my paper is. Move that out of the way a little bit. So I started writing down my to-do list for the week. What I want to get done. I've got Yeah, I'm not doing a very straight line. I went clear up there on that one. <laughs> oh well, I can fill those in when I get back up there. Yeah, this week I 
do some housework. I got the doctor to go to. Hopefully they don't cancel it again. That's on Tuesday morning. So while I'm out on Tuesday, I need to, uh, as long as I'm out and about and in that area of town, I need to stop at Walmart and see if they have my vitamins in. They didn't have them in when I was there last time, so. Although I still have, you know, enough to last for a couple weeks, but they're my multivitamin women over 50 silver. <laughs> So when I'm done with the doctor's office, I'll uh, go over to Walmart. I don't think I need anything else. I don't know if I'll need water by then. But yeah, nothing really other than that. I don't have anything else on the agenda to go anywhere. It is cold here. Um, it's really windy so it makes it feel colder. It might have warmed up a little bit since this morning. Hey Google, what's the temperature with the wind chill? Right now in Salem, it feels like 36 due to wind chill. Yeah, 36. I might as well go ahead and put those eights in. So I got my sweatshirt on, <clears throat> my cozy bathrobe. Fuzzy slippers and socks. So, I'm pretty comfortable. Whoops, I need to move that over. I'm sticking to the canvas. I wasn't watching what I was doing. There we go. Yeah, today I want to do some knitting. I'd like to sit and knit quite a long time because I want to finish this project and go on with my next one. I'm chomping at the bits to do I've got what three patterns that Ross over it smells like yarn did yeah so I want to get busy on that I'm looking for eights did I get them all I think so Yeah, for me now with my knitting, I can only have one project going on at a time because I just get too confused with what I'm doing. <coughs> you know, I can't mix and match projects. All right, so it looks like our next one is going to be an L. So I've got to find the L on the list. Is that it? Kind of looks I want to double check because you know sometimes the symbols are similar all right that looks like the only L so that's 14 and 14 is 433 
medium brown. Yeah, I was going to watch Blue Bloods, but I don't know. I think they forgot to put it on, or I forgot that I watched it or something. I don't know, but nothing new there. But I am continuing to watch Frasier from the 90s. Those are long seasons. <laughs> I think I'm on season four. And there's like, I don't know, 20 episodes. Unbelievable. Compared to what it is now. You know, you're lucky if you get five or six. And then it's got to go into the next season. Ellie had to put on a rain jacket today. Boy, it was coming down in buckets. And there was a big, I mean huge bird that went by only got you know just a glimpse of it so I don't know what it was but um, man that thing was huge I thought it was an airplane flying low I took my um, ruler off here and kind of straightened things around. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Seems like they never stay straight for me. I am not, <coughs> excuse me, a um, square drill expert. Do the best I can. Do what makes us happy. Paint with passion. I like that. You know, and I think this one will be a paint with passion because I'm looking forward to all the little um, surprises to come.
it's funny because I know on these pensums there's been uh, some of my friends that I have done canvases with. <clears throat> they notice things that I didn't even notice after you know completing it and it's like oh I gotta go back and look at that I missed it completely so now that I'm getting a little bit better with these premium canvases I kind of know to look for different things in the painting really enjoy it you know just Oh, yeah, so I don't have anything on the agenda other than being lazy today. Nothing real thrilling has been happening. Oh, um, I watched... Diamonds by Tita. She did an, an unboxing from Timu. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday or not, but yeah, I got one of the canvases in my to buy list. I need to go back in there and see if there's anything else that I don't need but will purchase. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good size canvas, so. But it's my kind of scene. Yeah, so I'm gonna get that order off today. I am just obsessed right now with English countryside village stuff. And you know, they may look similar, but they're all different. Each have a uniqueness to them. Do you guys have anything that you really, really like to diamond paint you know some people like florals some like animals some like specific animals <laughs> um, okay we got some L's up there so I'm gonna mosey up there and do those Yeah, I think in the bigger canvases, I like my English villages. And then in the smaller canvases, it's just a mishmash of stuff. I did an unboxing yesterday for Dreamer. Yeah, that has a lot of confetti in it. How fun. Yeah, so that one I'm going to be doing smaller squares. I don't mind confetti. Uh, I just do smaller squares so it doesn't overwhelm me. And that's how I get through confetti heavy canvases. I don't mind them at all. But I don't know, I just love this 
I'll be so craft. I don't know the difference between a hobby and a craft. I wonder if it says, let's see what the difference is. All right, so hobby versus craft. A craft is making something. So woodworking, knitting, jewelry, making, painting, arts and crafts, okay? A hobby can be a craft, but a hobby can also be collecting. Oh, well, that makes sense. Baseball cards or fishing or hunting. So basically, any craft can be a hobby, but not all hobbies are a craft. <coughs> so, hmm, okay. I answered that question. I'm looking forward to getting into the reds. Looks like we got some reds and purples. Yeah, got some flowers. Ellie's snoozing, if you wanted to know where she's at. She was outside earlier. Well, it was raining. And then she just went out. It's not raining, so she got to kind of walk around a little bit. But, oh my gosh, the grass is soaking wet again. Oh darn, I can't mow. <laughs> but oh when I do have to mow it's going to be a pain because it's getting so long Yesterday, oh, I had some yummy, yummy, yummy tomato soup. <sighs> it hit the spot. I put crackers in it. And I did not do a grilled cheese sandwich. But I did a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with it. And that was delish. I don't know why, but I have been craving peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Now during the summer, what I crave, salads, all kinds of salads. And fruits. Yeah, I guess because it's fruity season and and stuff. But yeah, I love, I make a really good cucumber salad. Oh my gosh. I have to, I make up a big thing of it. But the thing with cu my cucumber salad, I do need to eat it within a couple days. So yeah, I just... 
scarf down on it for a couple days. And then, you know, that kind of holds me. And then, oh my gosh, pasta salads. I love pasta salads. Potato salad. And also another salad I eat a lot of during the summer is a broccoli cauliflower salad which there's more to it in into the salad um, that you add oh yeah that is also delish to me so what I do during the summer is I just make up my whatever is floating my boat that week and I make up enough for a couple days of different salads and uh, yeah I can eat on those all day long and also I like now this may sound strange but when I was growing up, my dad made a shrimp salad and at Christmas and Thanksgiving. That was his contribution to the meal. <laughs> it was really funny because my dad did not cook. But I remember every year he would make that. It was always a big hit. And if I remember right, he used, he'd cut up cabbage and then put in the shrimp. And I believe he either used Miracle Whip or he used mayonnaise. I don't know. I can't tell you for sure how he made it. Um, but I know he had to make, however he made it, he had to make a lot because everybody was scarfing down on that. And there was never any leftovers of that salad. And, um, so... I cannot, I should have, you know, before he passed, I should have asked him, you know, how did you make that salad? But I never did. Um, but he passed away, I was probably, I don't know, 31, 32. Yeah, I didn't expect him. He was only 50 six when he passed away very suddenly and so you know you always think you have more time with somebody or whatever and I didn't appreciate it then anyway uh, because I was not making any dinners at that time for family we always went to other people's houses, you know, between my parents and my husband's parents, um, or, you know, whatever, um, well, my husband, in that, no, uh, no, we didn't go to his parents, <coughs> they also passed away about that same time <coughs> as my dad. But anyway, um, yeah, I never got to ask him how he made it. But anyway, I've tried to make it like him. And I have done different versions of how I thought he made it. And then added a twist to my own. Um, yeah, but all right, now we've got two dots. Let's find that one. Are 
that shows a two dot. Make sure we don't, that's a three dot. Okay, so this looks like the winner, 15. <clears throat> 434 light brown we're staying in the brown family oh my gosh I have been on here for 45 minutes so I think I'm going to let you go and click up <laughs> Maybe I'm just late to the party on that little clip thing, but okay. I appreciate everybody stopping by and visiting for a while. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will chat with you later. Thanks for stopping by.